folk who, when I was growing up, who used to say that the Holy Spirit can't dwell on you alone. Because if the Holy Spirit dwelt on you too long, you'd go crazy. I've soon since discovered that they didn't know the Holy Spirit. Because, beloved, you can't make it one day without the Spirit of God. You might not recognize what He does in your life, but He sustains you in the midst of everything you're going through. I want to extend an invitation to discipleship. Perhaps there's someone here who would like to become a part of God's family. Won't you come now?
covenant disciples who lost loved ones. Grief is heavy in their hearts and in their homes. But we want you to touch. We want you to give to them your peace. Let them know that earth hath no sorrow that heaven cannot be. We pray for Deaconess Eddie Joe Davis. We pray for her daughter Trustee Joanne Davis. We pray for the sister of Deaconess Akiva. Sister Walter Jean. We pray for Minister Timothy McNamara. You've got power, power. that we have never experienced. I want you to touch. So then, Father, I want you to touch every covenant. Touch every visitor or guest. Do not let us leave this place the same way we do. Give to us a sense of your presence. Teach us that you are at home with us. To stand around the altar on this person, touch him right now. Everybody stands in the need of prayer. We don't know their situation, but we do know their God, and you're able to do it. All right. Teach us, Father, over the next seven days that we are not alone. Teach us how to talk with you. Teach us how to open up our hearts. Teach us how to share our secrets. Just teach us how to be the kind of student that you want us to be. By faith. By faith. We thank you for hearing our prayer. We thank you for hearing our prayer. And by faith. And by faith. We claim the victory. We claim the victory. Right now. 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 The marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our blessed Savior and Redeemer, we pray. Amen. Now, unto God. to present our forces before God's presence with exceeding joy. And for the only wise God, our Savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power.